Hello folks. We've had several questions recently about setting up a greenhouse and pretty much automating it as much as possible. So today we're going to take a look at how I have my greenhouses set up and how I kind of have them almost completely automated. So first up, let's take a look at the greenhouse itself. Uh, this is my lovely little greenhouse here I have on my Emissa map. And just because I like the color, I'm using the stained glass from one of the Eco Deco mods. Uh, it does not have to be stained glass. Any of the, the greenhouse glass, the SS glass, all of that stuff works perfectly well. And let's take a look inside. So in here, I have my crops all set up in their crop plots. Uh, you don't have to use the tech crop plots. I do because I'm growing the plant species R seeds here for some meat, but any crop plots will work. So all of my crops set up here and you can see they're all growing pretty well. Inside my greenhouse here, I have my dung beetles. You really only need one, um, but more is also fine. And I have these guys hitched up to a hitching post and set on wander so that they will create the fertilizer that my garden's going to need. Now, if I step outside here, there's a few other things. I have a bunch of critters nearby producing poop for me. Yay, poop. Um, I also have an SS item collector. This is not completely necessary, but if you don't have a lot of stuff super close to your greenhouse, you can set this up a little further away where you might have other tames and it collects from a pretty wide radius. So I have this turned on and it is set to collect any poop along with other things. But right now we're mostly focused on the poop. Outside my greenhouse here, I have my little SS farmer. And this guy is really handy because he will take any fertilizer here and help distribute it out to the crop plot. So he'll collect that fertilizer my dung beetle's making and he will automatically send it out to crop plots. Over here is my gardener and the gardener collects all of the crops for me. So I have all of my meat for the meat seeds I have all of my vegetables, and if I were growing berries, I'd also have them in here as well. So this gardener will collect all of that for me. And so I really don't have to do anything. All right, my item collector picks up the poop from my animals. It automatically sends it to my dung beetles when they need it. The dung beetles, as long as they are on wander, they will produce the fertilizer. My gardener or my farmer takes that fertilizer, sends it out to the crop plots, and my gardener collects all of my produce for me. A uh, couple things to keep in mind the gardener and the farmer both require power or Kalian soup. Um, if you look at my farmer here, it says requires Kalian soup. Um, that is not necessary if you have a tech generator running. I don't think they run on anything other than tech power or Kalian soup. To be honest, I've not tried it with another power source. If you do not have a tech generator, or um, you can easily get one in the shop. It's one of our kits that you can purchase. Um, and so this completely automates everything. All I have to do is come through periodically and grab all of the items out of my gardener put them in my crop plots, my storage, my fridge, wherever I want them to go. So this is a real quick guide on how to automate everything pretty much for your greenhouse. Again, you don't have to use the tech crop plots. You can use regular. You don't have to use a tech hitching post. You can use a regular hitching post. Uh, the reason I hitch these guys up, even though they are inside, is that ARC has a lovely known bug where your critters are going to render in before structures. So it is not uncommon if these guys are not hitched because they're on wander uh, for them to kind of escape because the building and the hitching post will not render in right away when I'm loading in. And sometimes they can escape out of the building. So that hitching post is going to keep them tied up so that they can't go anywhere. 
So I hope this helps and gives you a way to automate your greenhouse process.